There's plenty of fun and education in downtown Toledo, and the place you're going to find it is, of course, the Imagination Station. And since it's Thursday, Sarah Neff is here, and you're brewing up something. Uh, I've heard it's called a Witch's Brew. Witches no clue brew. what this is, but I'm pretty excited about it. Well, in all Halloween spirit, we had to bring something to do with dry ice, and we're going to make it a little fun today. All you right. guys always make it fun, that's we for did. sure. All right, we what are we going to start with? All right, well, let's start with safety, so go ahead and put your safety glasses on there. And I'll give you a glove. Now, dry ice is pretty cool stuff, literally. Mm -hmm. It's negative 109 degrees, and it is always sublimating, which means it's turning directly from a solid into a gas. It's releasing carbon dioxide gas as it sublimates, and that gas is invisible. It looks like there's a little bit of fog coming off there. Sure. That's because the dry ice is so cold that the vapor particles in the air are condensing right onto it and creating fog. Very cool. Now, if we want to I speed up. I can understand this. Sure. Yeah, exactly. This is right up your alley. Now, if we want to speed up the sublimation, what we can do is put it into this big beaker of warm water. So go ahead and put some in there. Okay. Warm water. Is there something else in here, too? There is soap in there. Okay. So what happens is that dry ice is sublimating. It's creating all of those bubbles, and those bubbles are churning the soap, and um, each one of those is going to be filled with a little bit of fog. So as they come out of our beaker, you can see there's a nice big one on top. Yeah, we had something similar. So if I pop yeah. this one, go ahead. it's going to let some of the gases out. Right. So cool. some of those might need to uh, get the good bubbles, get usually the, at the, the bottom. The bigger bubbles. Yeah. So let's let that work for a minute, and we can move on to our cauldron over here. Inside the cauldron, there is a beaker of hot water, and I'm going to have you put some dry ice into that beaker as okay. well. Just one little chunk here? Sure. So we're going to put that in, and again, it's doing the same thing. It's sublimating. It's creating all of that nice fog, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a monster bubble. So I've got a towel here, and it's in a soap solution. Done with the glove here? Yep, you can take that off. And what we're going to do is get the rim of our cauldron ready, okay? Because the bubbles worst enemy is a dry hand or a <laughs> dry cauldron. So I'm going to stretch this and pull it across the top of our cauldron. Kind of like a wand, isn't it? Yeah. So what we've done is we've created a film on top and it's sealed all the way around. So now that carbon dioxide gas is building up inside of our bubble. And what's pretty cool is you can actually put your hand inside that bubble. Without it being soapy? Well. It, that Remember, we want it. We don't want it to be dry. So go ahead and yep. dip your hand in there. Okay. And you can put your finger right into that bubble without popping it. Pretty amazing. It is. Do you want to try? Sure. All right. We're gonna pop it. Yep. Ah. All right. So I will give you this one. Okay. And I'll let try. you give it a try. You can dazzle your friends and family with this I for Halloween. So. And if you want to kick it up a notch and make it even more Halloween. Oh, we always want to kick it up always. a notch. Always. <laughs> you can actually do it inside of a pumpkin as well. So I've hollowed out this pumpkin. And if we let this brew long enough, will it, it uh, pop on itself due to? It will. It'll eventually get so big that the bubble won't be able to hold any more gas and it will pop. All right. So we're onto the pumpkin now. Yeah. So the pumpkin is the same idea. We've got it sublimating in there. The pumpkin's a little trickier though because it has ridges. So this is definitely one. For the expert. Yeah, you might have to practice. <laughs> Let's try and get a good one on here. There it goes. You can make another one on your cauldron over there if you want. Certainly will. All right, while you're doing this, Kay. why don't you let me know what you guys are going to be doing at the Imagination Station this weekend. We actually have spooky science happening this weekend. So we've got all kinds of activities. You'll see the witch's cauldron out. We've got some other things. We've got edible blood and ghost crystals, plethora of other fun activities. Very Definitely cool. come down and check it out. And you've See, got this you go. one. That's, We've that, got this one. That's, that's a good bubble going on. Very nice. <laughs> I like it. And then it, it sinks when, it's, when it instantly comes out. It does. That's because the carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air. So it falls down toward the ground and it actually pulls all of that um, cloud vapor, pulls it right down with it. All right. Very cool. Question is, dry ice, as you mentioned, is very, very cold. So it we is. did our safety precautions. Right. Any tips? Can this be done at home or? You can do this at home. Okay. Just make sure you are wearing gloves because you could get instant frostbite from handling it without. So it is dangerous stuff. You want to be careful when you handle it. I can imagine doing something pretty cool with the yeah. pumpkin. I love when you guys come in and share some science with us and kind of teach us how we could do the uh, similar projects and, of course, share the great stuff you guys have going on right. at the Imagination Station. Sarah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. Happy Halloween to Happy you. Happy Halloween.